country is experiencing the most divisive time in recent history. But the holidays are upon us. I want to find out what families are doing to stay connected this season. We just ignore family around the holidays. We stay away from relatives that are racist. Take antidepressants. Get medicated. Get medicated. We got we... lots of racist relatives. Yes, unfortunately. Yes. What do you do when your racist cousin says something racist? Not allowed in my house. Not allowed in my house. <laughs> Not allowed in my house. No way. Okay. My house, my rules. My grandfather was racist. When we would watch football and people of particular color would be running down the field, he would cheer for them using the not nice words. Oh. He's dead now? Yes, ma'am. That's good. That's good. That's probably for the best. I was starting to see a pattern, particularly among white families. But crazy shit like this doesn't have to be a holiday tradition. Luckily, there's a solution, and that's where I come in, by letting this guy come in. Meet Dr. David Camp. As a racial dialogue expert, he travels the country running a workshop called the White Ally Toolkit, where woke white liberals learn to effectively communicate with the not so woke. David's basically the white people whisperer. So how many of you folks have racist friends, relatives that you think you might see over the holidays? Everybody. So what are some things that white people tend to do wrong oh. when, uh, sure. Crocs with socks. Crocs with socks are, in fact, bad. But let me finish the question that I'm asking. What are some things that white people do wrong when other white people say things that are racially problematic or otherwise disturbing? I mean, like calling someone like an idiot or stupid. That's exactly right. No, because you send it in a text. So the method that you want to think about is race. And race stands for reflect, ask, connect, expand. Let's suppose that person is your cousin, Biff. How does he know my cousin Biff? And Biff wants to talk about how affirmative action is keeping him out of a job and making black folks lazy. What do you do? Not my house. What does that mean? It means it's not allowed in your house. My house, my rules. Not my house. Well, or you can try to influence people and stay connected to them. You ask him what happened in his life that caused him to believe that. Is that, is that, is that? No. It's not. <laughs> Actually, that's correct. That's exactly what you should do. All right, let's turn to the next part of the scenario. So what's important to do is to find something you can agree with in what Biff said and connect with him. No, I can't connect with Biff. I can't. He's racist. As an official black person, I'm telling you, you can connect with him. You're, you yeah, have Yeah, but I got to be real honest with you. I may be white on the outside, but on the inside. No, I'm... no, no, no. no. <laughs> I did see Black Panther nine times, though, and that, I very deep. much identified with it. That's great, but you are a white person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you have a similarity to Biff that I do not. OK, you know, I hear you. I get it now. I get it now. OK. To see if this was effective, I needed to try it out in the real world. I've decided to put David's methods to the test, and there's no better place to find conflicting family views than New Jersey. The Co-Francisco family had a history of dinners gone bad, so they were more than willing to let any random stranger with cameras come into their home if it meant their holidays could be more pleasant. What's on your sweater? Just, you know, your standard, traditional cr Christmas sweater. It's black. Yeah, it's just a Santa sweater. Pop-up, would you wear a sweater like Desi's? Maybe not. If I would have known you were wearing your black Santa, sir, I would have worn my black Jesus sweater. Jesus is white. Jesus isn't black or he white. He's actually, Jewish. he's Middle Eastern. He was Can you, Jewish. Jewish right. is a religion. Jewish yeah. is a religion. The nationality part is, was Jewish. No. no. Well, if Jesus wasn't going to bring this family together at Christmas time, there was only one thing that could. So, who likes football? I don't watch football anymore. He hasn't watched football all year. Did Why last haven't week. you watched football all year? Because I don't like what's going on. The kneeling. With the kneeling. The kneeling. Yes. Don't like it. You don't like it? Not at all. I disagree. It was time to work my magic. OK, so you say that you disagree. Yes. OK, this is the point of the conversation where you need to connect. You're really going to let someone kneeling before the football game stop you from watching the entire game? Yes, I am. The entire thing? Yes. That doesn't make but any why? sense. Just don't watch them kneeling. One, just turn one way of handling why? this why? Why? conversation why? Why? is you don't even show it. The race, I don't know if you have any of you. I'm trying to teach you how to have a civilized conversation. I think it's going great. I really feel that this family is responsive to the techniques that I've shown them. I think David would feel very proud of the way that I'm handling this. I put the TV on and I watched this kid kneel down 
I shut it off. I don't want to watch him. Just like let him kneel. Who cares? They're like making a statement. It's a peaceful protest. So you perfect. Watch it. Help me, Desi. Okay, very good, very good, very good. You actually just did all four steps in one statement. Wow. You were reflecting on what was happening here. You asked for help. You were connecting with me, and you were expanding on an idea. What? All four. Wow. Yay! Happy holidays! Happy holidays! Happy holidays. What's so happy about? It's a scary time for men right now. Men? Men? Just men? Well, there's always next year. Something tells me I'll be back. <laughs>